So my dudes Valk here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how terraforming works inside the houses, how all that stuff works so you guys can do really cool things like this. I wanted to make this. I thought this would be really cool. It doesn't take me long to actually build stuff like this. I do it in about 20 minutes or so. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to pick everything up and we're going to make a video and I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do things like this too. The most important thing is having the terraforming pieces. So we're going to go ahead we're going to pick everything up simply because i can i build this i rebuild this literally every day and we're going to go ahead and try to make something really cool using the terraforming pieces so landform is where you're going to want to be this is going to be your home for all your terraforming needs uh let's go ahead let's move this up a little bit more so we can have nice terraforming pieces ready to go let's just get the back side all like squished in let me move this a little bit back actually Let's get the backside squished in because I want to keep it nice and tight going forward. That way we have this. As you can see, I'm raising the elevation to where it just looks like mountains around the backside of it, which is exactly what my goal is right now, is to just make like mountainous looking things and try to um, go with it like this. That way I can create more space because I want to make sure... You know, people don't go off where they're not supposed to and see the boo-boo that I'm going to be trying to hide. I'll be hiding a lot of not-so-good-looking things, but well, the good-looking stuff should more than make up for it. So this is basically how terraforming works are these pieces here. And as we go through it, you'll see I'm mostly speed building right now. Normally I would take my time placing everything and make it look really nice. But we are just going to speed do this because I want to show you guys all the really cool stuff that you can do. Um, I guess we start using these pieces now, use the bigger pieces just to try to uh, get moving faster. And now we can also start making really cool things like this to try to take up space because I want to do something very specific and you guys will see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and turn it sideways, then we're going to do this, turn this piece like this. As you can see, with terraforming pieces, one of the things you can do, one of the many things you can do, is you can put pieces inside of pieces. So you can have stuff like, a lot of things I'll do, is I'll make it look more natural by doing things like this. Like if I was to put this here, you can see it looks a little bit more natural since there's a step up to it. Um, I do stuff like that to make it look more natural and make it look less like me just robotically placing pieces down and make it look more like it's actually a mountainous formation and it's something that would be really cool to explore right because for me the mountainous formations are always about like trying to make it look really good so this is basically how terraforming works you can also stack them on top of each other you can stack up to three high i believe i haven't really played with it myself to find out how high it goes because i'm always too enthralled with doing shit like what i'm doing right now i think this stuff right here is really 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 cool so I always end up doing it, and I end up making uh, some things I'm really proud of, and yeah. I mean, I also, I want to throw this one out there, uh, I'm sure everyone knows this by now, but don't go making uh, dongs, everyone, I know, haha, pee pee funny. Um, don't go doing that, because you will actually get banned, people have gotten banned for that. Uh, it's more like, I think it was like a week suspension from doing this game mode, so I would don't recommend doing it, but I mean... You're your own boss. You want to make some haha -ha pee pees? Then by all means, you do you, boo boo. I will just be sitting here playing with my rocks in my own little uh, sandbox, and you can do whatever it is you want to do. So now we're at this point. I kind of want to make this go a little bit further because we're going to have arches. So if we go courtyard, you can see we're going to do this. It's going to be a very similar design as one I've done before. And now we have all this space to the right that I want to fill in. So one of the things I can do, like I was telling you guys with terraforming, I can move this really close to it, right? I can move this super close. Let me actually do it like this. And now look, now I can just grab another, or I can grab this little step here. And look, it will blend in. I can make it blend in like this. And then I can put another one right here. And look, looks a little bit more natural. Looks nice. And then for these pieces, I like I was saying before, this is what I was planning out with this right here, is I can put them here and I can make it look like it's got steps going up. So this is how terraforming works. You can do this at any elevation at any point. 
and you can just keep doing this over and over and I think it makes it look really nice. You can set out some alcoves and make stuff pop. You can do some really cool shit with this. I'm waiting for water. As soon as I have like waterfalls and stuff, I think I can do a lot more with it. But yeah, this is just me speed doing things because I want to showcase how it all works for you guys. That way, if you guys want to make some pog yourselves, by all means, you can go get it done. Now here you can see I have some extra pieces that I want to fill in. So I want to make the wall a little bit more solid looking rather than, you know, being able to peek through it. So one of the things I'm going to do is this, and it's going to break it up and make it not look so wacky to backy, right? Meanwhile, I can put steps in like that, make that look kind of unique, do things like this to make it look a little bit more natural, like I was saying before, because, you know, there's no, like, rocks, there's no two rocks that are the same. Rocks are always super unique in how they function and how they do, right? What do I want to do with this one? Definitely want to put it somewhere. Maybe I just put it over here. Shits and gigs. So that's done. That's out of the way. We've had that going. That that I know is a kind of a long spot putting down the rocks and terraforming and all that. But now I want to show you guys what it looks like whenever we actually get moving in it. You can see it sets up for this really beautiful walk through whatever you want to put in here. I'm going to put trees and stuff. I'm going to make it really scenic. You're going to see here in a second, I'm going to go through it, but this is how terraforming works. You're going to change the terrain around you, and you're going to make it look really, really good. So, now that we've done that, now that I've gone ahead and done that, let me show you how I place the trees and stuff to make it really pop off. So, the main thing is you got to know what trees you have and what colors they have. Like, these are all orange and stuff, and I like these trees, but they're pretty big, so they kind of get in the way. So, what I'll tend to do with these trees is I try to put them somewhere where they're not so much in the way, but... They still hang out, right? Because these trees do take up a lot of space. But these are by far my favorite trees. These little hanging trees. They're so cool looking. Um, they make it really easy to go ahead and place this. And yeah, I'll do this one more time right here. And the reason I'm doing this is because now I'm trying to create an artificial pathway that players or anybody walking through is going to feel obligated to look at and kind of go through themselves. And it will create a sense of, uh, a sense of like, they need to walk down this way, right? Because that's what I want to create. I want to create a sense of like, oh, I better walk down this way because this looks like the correct way to go. Which is essentially what I'm trying to do with all this. So the next thing I'm going to do is put, let's see, where do I want to put this tree? If I put it here, it might be a little too, I think this will be fine, actually. So... You can see like I'm doing, I know I'm going really fast with this, like normally I take my time building. But then we have the short bamboo sticks that you can go ahead and put on the terraforming platforms. So they look kind of cool. Um, da, 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 da. Alright, let's put this one right here because I knew I could. The short ones I like to put up on like a step or something. That way they kind of blend in. And because I'm going to have orange and green here, I want to make sure that I um, want to make sure I have ways to do that. Because so now we have the tall ones, and the tall ones are what's going to fill in all the blanks and make it really look cool. So we're going to put the tall ones here, another tall one, maybe over here, here. I'm not going to go super in depth like I would normally do for something like this because I just want you guys to just get the general idea of it and see what I mean by having a pathway and all that. Uh, where's this at? A little, little too close right there is perfect. And then we have the one tree for the outdoor set. So yeah, kind of bog, kind of bog. I'll put this like up here somewhere. That way we have the set at least, right? And then, of course, you also want to place all your sets so you have it that the energy as high as possible. This looking boo-boo doesn't matter because people aren't supposed to be back here seeing things anyways. It's like the Wizard of Oz, right? You don't want to look behind the curtain because you don't know what you're going to find. <laughs> so, essentially, let's go ahead and put some of these sets down before I go ahead and leave. I'll finish up this build later. I'll add some more furniture to it, but yeah. So, you guys can see this is basically how I build buildings or how I build... Um, anytime I do one of my houses, I make sure I terraform, I put everything down, then I put the trees down to try to make a pathway. I like this design style. I've been doing this design style quite a bit. I think it's really nice looking. 
Um, you can also put down bushes. You can put down rocks, add more flavor. Like the more detail you have, the better it's going to look. But at the same time, you don't want to appear too cluttered because I, the way I handle it is I have like a dedicated path in mind. I want people to follow and I want to encourage them to follow that path. So what I'm going to be doing and stuff in regards to that is like, I would take this, I'd spin it around. Put this right here, the showcase, like, look, here's a little path that you guys should follow. You do it, like, here again. And I would keep doing this on repeat, etc. And maybe, maybe, I wanted to go over to here. And do one more time. Here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Right. Then we can have maybe this, this little statue right here like warning people off scaring people and then we can repeat here put the well somewhere in here so people can see it while they're walking through right and now we save changes and leave and we take the walk once again like I said the more detail you add to it the better it's going to look you just got to keep adding detail you got to make sure it looks nice in a way and yeah that's basically how i do all my things Anyways, let me know in the comment section below if this helped you guys out. This is how I build my houses. This is how terraforming works. This was the whole point of the video. I kind of forgot. But this is how I do terraforming. Let me know in the comment section below if this helped you guys. Um, I was trying to be helpful with it, but yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching as always. Let me know in the comment section below um, if this is what, like, if you're going to build houses like this or not. Catch you all later. Peace.